All right, we're gonna do this. We got this new listing. It's a 2006 2820 Parker XL. I'm very familiar with these boats. This is their flagship. This is pretty much their big boat. Uh, it does have the deep V, 21 degree dead rise. This boat actually spent most of its life in the Northeast, somewhere in Massachusetts, and the the, the uh, owner at that time bought a new one. And it's been down here for a couple years. Uh, well maintained, they pretty much keep it out of the water. Um, the owners of this vessel are going to a little uh, tug, a little 27 foot tug with air conditioning in it. So up front you got your windlass. It's got bottom paint on it. Uh, you can bottom paint if you're gonna keep it in the water, but if you're gonna keep it on the trailer or out, or out you probably don't need to bottom paint it. So a big plus, you got a windlass up top, you got a bow thruster on the bottom, which is a, a big plus. Uh, that was a big add. So they added this bimini, which you can take off uh, this year. Kind of walk around a little bit. You've got the Armstrong platform on it. It's got the big trim tabs. And the smaller boats, they usually put these big trim tabs on them to make them run in good and rough water. There's your Armstrong ladder that comes off the back. It's got your 225 four-stroke engines. They got a little over 1,100 hours on them, this boat. It's just been serviced, going through everything, make sure it's good. Uh, bottom looks good. Sides feel good. So, I like the way the bimini hooks to the top. Now we're going to come up the back. So these are 30 inch motors. These are the Longer engines for a bigger boat. Get a little ladder right here. So this has all the goodies that come, that don't come on the smaller Parkers for sure. But you got your bow thruster now. You got a big uh, ice chest all the way across the back here. I'll give you a little shot inside. Giant cockpit, nine and a half foot beam. Yep, this one's used for storage, but it goes all the way across and it is insulated all the way across for fish or whatever. So they've added rod holders in the back. We also have saltwater wash down. Your batteries, battery switches are down in the bilge, uh, all freshly serviced. Pretty simple bilge, rod holders. I'm six foot, so you got a good six, four, six, five. Now, big plus, an outside station, which uh, if you were to get a boat that didn't have that, you've got to change all the steering controls and everything to add this. So uh, this is a big add. Uh, another thing, it's got this. There, there's your your <clears throat> your thruster controls out here this little toolbox can come out <clears throat> you got a fresh water shower right here go in the cabin it's got the big cabin a lot of storage now that you got the fresh water tank in this one here it's gonna be storage here coming over here you got your bow thruster controls got Lowrance HDS in it, compass, got 1182 hours, 1177 hours on the Yamaha gauge, it's got fuel man management systems, anchor windlass, all your switches, your Lenko trim tabs, uh, got your stereo system, I'm guessing it works, uh, you got windshield wipers on both windows and both windows open up. Up front, you got your windlass. You got a good area up front where you can walk around, sit. Down here, you got the real head system. There's your waste pump out. So pretty much, they say you can't have a bad day in these boats. You can be in the worst weather coming home, and you're comfortable. So I've sold many of these. These new, they always ask if I can get an air conditioner. I don't think they have any really. To work off of solar yet but uh you're on you're out there on sea temperature so it's kind of comfortable you got a lot of air going through here 
Again, the big platform back here. This is sweet. All right, so 16 people, 2006 model, all the goodies. Mm -hmm. There she is.